Hi everyone, it is Shamila here. Thank you for joining me today. I am thrilled to share with you my version of my um, Alice Through the Looking Glass uh, tutorial we did on Saturday past. I think the date was the 10th of July on the Stamperia Cafe. And I used Alice Through the Looking Glass paper from Stamperia. It is such, such beautiful paper. It was hard to choose which side of the paper I was going to use. But let me show you my cover. Now, we are all mad here. This is Alice. And by accident, I have to admit, we have two covers. So this was my original cover. And until Belinda pointed out, Shamila, your book is opening the wrong way, did I realize that it was opening right instead of left. Lots of the books I read open to the right, so it didn't even look wrong to me. So my apologies for that. But you can always flip it. So let's go through the cover. This is one of the 12 by 12 sheets. And what I did was I basically cut out the door. I added um, foam tape to it so it has dimension. And you can actually put a tag or something inside there. But I've got an off cut from Alice, Queen Alice, that came off the side strip there that I put into the doorway there. And the little clock sticking out there is from the um, collectible collection. And I will put all the product codes in the description box so you won't have trouble finding anything, I promise. And um, I generally love tearing and cutting into paper so this is what i did here um all the embellishments the hair the queen the cards and humpty dumpty they all come from the collectibles and i think the collectibles is an absolute game changer in the crafting or scrapbooking world for me it is such a pleasure to be able to choose whether i want the queen to look to the left or to the right because the collectibles are printed back to back let me just see if i have a sample for you so this is one of the pieces that i i used in the in the album or in my folio so these are the teapots and as you can see i cut out the teapot but i saved the border because you know i am like that so there we got the teapot with the spout going to the left but if you flip it, you've got that very same teapot with the spout going to the right. So you have choice galore. This is an awesome, awesome addition to the Stamperia range. And I think it is just amazing. So that's that. And then um, what we did in the tutorial as well, I showed you how I colored the white seam binding using the aqua colors. And um, some of the Glamour pigment powders. I'm not sure if the shimmer is coming up on camera. But it's got a lovely gold shimmer to it. And then we also use some of the um, Glamour sparkles in burnt umber there on top. And all the elements have got some of the Glamour gels. I don't know if the shimmer is coming up. But you can see Humpty Dumpty. I used various colors of the Glamour gels on here just to add some shimmer and sparkle i love shimmer and sparkle okay so let me open this up so my one opens to the right and we've got the first side of the folio the right side now if i bring this up i'm hoping that the camera can pick up the teacup what that is inside the teacup that was just an experiment on my side I used the, um, let me just grab it, the extra gloss finish. I love this stuff. I use it all the time. And I used, uh, reaching over to pick up, the Glamour Pigment in Burnt Umber. It is KAPG04. So what I did was, I just added the uh, gloss and I poured the Glamour Pigment over it. And I left it to dry overnight. And this morning, I was so thrilled to see that it actually worked. So we've got tea in the cup. Dark tea, but we've got tea. And then the, um, the teapot, I've put on dimensional tape. And I'm hoping that it comes through so you can see that it's slightly raised off the, 
off the page if i put my finger in there you can see so those come from the collectibles and then if i open that this comes from the 8x8 background paper this comes from the 8x8 background paper if you did not buy the background paper you are missing out big time the background papers are absolutely divine it is a feast for the eyes it is gorgeous 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 so we open this up here that's also from the background paper and then this is from the card kit like i said i'll put all the product codes in the description box so you can find it easily more background paper and then here i think the cat and the hat comes from the collectibles i'm not sure because it took me a couple of nights um, in bed i cut out all these things while i was sitting in bed watching tv so um sometimes one forgets where what comes from but you know if you're an alice fan you would need to buy the whole collection it is stunning it's beautiful i love this green color of distressing that they've used in the background it's just beautiful 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 so we've got alice and humpty dumpty there and if i close this up this is a flap that flaps to the top and then we've got another flap that flaps down. I haven't put anything here yet um, because I'm planning to put possibly a photograph directly on there. I'm not sure what I'm doing here yet, so I've left that one blank. But just to give you an idea, let me just show you here. What I've done was I actually used the off cut from Alice to put at the bottom of the sheet here so you get an idea of how the sheet continues but i also put in two temporary photo mats over there just so people if, if for example i'm i'm giving this to someone as a gift i would normally stick a, a sticker on there that says place photograph here so this they can just just peel out and put their real photograph there so it gives people an idea of how to place photographs, what to put into the folio, or where to put their photographs. Oh, and I didn't tell you, Alice is not stuck 100% down, so there's a tuck spot there. Right, let's just go back to where we were. So these are flaps that go to the right and to the left. And this is a standard photo mat size. So I've placed that there. But the reason why I did that was because it gives me, as the album builder, an idea of where to place additional pattern paper. Now, these are little strips that come off my pages. I really, really, if ever, cut into a page for a strip like that. So when I'm working, I will have a little bucket next to me where all my bits and pieces go into and when i'm busy compiling my album i normally um i use lots of paper clips so i will paper clip all my samples or my pre-cuts together for example this one when i did the big sheet i cut out that big sheet and i paper clipped it and when i knew that alice was going to go there like this piece was going to go there. I found a piece of off cut that would fit in here beautifully. And very often, because you're busy with a, the same size project, lots of the paper off cuts fit perfectly. So just remember that before you cut into a sheet of paper, first check what's in your off cut pile. Maybe you can save some paper. That stretches my paper a lot. So I haven't put anything onto those photo mats yet. Um, a standard photograph or a cropped photo will definitely fit on there. But what I did do was I added some of my off cuts here. And the reason why I did that was because when the two top flaps are closed, there's something pretty there. I hope that makes sense to you. So let's close this up. And then we'll go on to the other side. So here we've got a pocket. Let me just get something to put into the pocket. These. This is one of the postcards from the collection. So that fits in there. And I, I've done the same thing here. We've got Alice. So I do lots of paper piecing in my albums as well. We've got Queen Alice sitting there. And the teapot and the cup comes from the collectibles as well. 
and I have also raised that with um, foam tape. Now, the reason why we can have a little bit of bulk in here is because we've got quite a broad spine there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Let's go on to the middle. So this is our middle piece of the folio. And here, I loved, loved, loved this paper. This also comes from the, the background papers. I wish they had done this in a 12 by 12, to be honest. It only came out in an 8 by 8. But a 12 by 12 with backgrounds would be awesome. So Stamperia, if you are listening, we would love some 12 by 12 background papers too. Right, so the frame comes from the collectibles. These come from the um, fussy cut sheet on the... Um, in the 12 by 12 pack and I've only partially stuck that down so we've got a tuck spot there this closes with a magnet and the reason why I've cut this so broad is so that if you wanted to add a photograph to it on the underside you can because it will take a portrait um, let me just see if I'm in short it will take a portrait tin what's it six by four photograph and then if we look at the waterfall feature, this is the same piece of um, scrapbooking paper or designer paper that I've used, but I've stripped it. So that's just about a three quarter. What's the measurement here? Let me just check. It's just about three eighths of an inch. And I just stripped it so that you can see the paper continuing there. I haven't put anything underneath because your standard size photograph should fit in here. A cropped one will fit in there and then at the bottom we've just got some red cardstock and what I did here was this was an off cut because there was some red in there I thought it would go beautifully with that and I just created a little pocket there so we've got space for some more goodies to go in there and then let's close this we go on to the left hand side so this is the inside cover of the left side of the folio and it's got a pull out page like this so here I've did I've done some um, I've did sorry I've done some paper piecing here and basically where the white spots are that is where you would put a photograph and um, I've just added some additional bits of my off cuts here to fill up the pages but once you've got your photograph in here, the white spots don't look so nice. But once you have your photos in here, it will finish this up beautifully. Okay, so that will close like that. And then we have the other side, which is the inside cover in this case. But this one has a flap that comes down. Now I haven't put anything here yet because I am not sure which photographs are going to go into here yet. So this will be beautiful for a lovely, lovely big photograph. And if I pull this down, we have a flap that goes up. Let me just pull that right down so I can show you. And then we've got a flap that goes left and right. Also haven't put anything there, but your standard that is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So your jumbo photograph, your 10, I keep saying 10, it's actually six by four. Your six by four photos will fit perfectly on there. So we've got space for four and then possibly two on the inside there. So six photos on that page. And then when I open this, now this one really, when I saw this paper, the tapestry on the left side, oh my gosh, I just thought, wow, I love the stress, I love crackle, it's just, this is just like a feast for my eyes, I was so excited when I saw this piece of paper, and then to top it all, there's a story on this page, because it says through the looking glass, and at the bottom it says, in another moment, Alice was through the glass, but when you open it, it says, and what Alice found there. And I thought, now how on earth can I stick this down? I need to know what Alice found on the other side. So, and, and at the bottom it says, it'll be easy enough to get through. 
And I thought, there's no ways I'm gluing this down. I need to be able to see both sides of this paper. So I scored down the side and I only glued it there so that we've got a flap. And then, of course, more opportunity for photographs there. So we didn't lose the photo spot. We just gained some beautiful paper. How's that? And then, because... Remember, I, if you watch the video, Belinda pointed out to me and said, Shamila, but your folio is opening to the right. A normal book opens to the left. And up until that point, I hadn't thought about it. So, just to show you the spine, look how gorgeous is this paper. Look at the detail, the distressing. Oh, it's just to die for. I mean, never in my wildest dreams would I be able to design something as beautiful as this. I'm so happy with this paper. So, I created an additional cover. So, this is Wonderland. We are all mad here. And we've got two covers on my folio. And this is the back cover. Or the front cover. Whichever you want it to be. So, here I created a whole story. It says Wonderland. And if you look closely, you'll see I attempted to put some glamour paste in the background. That has a story on its own. I had I had used the Alice stencil with gold glamour paste but when it was done I realized I couldn't see much of the glamour paste but by then I had already added all these wonderful three-dimensional elements so these all come from the collectibles and I had cut into the paper I had add, added the what do you call these things the glamour sparkles and yet Shamila was still brave enough to try and add turquoise glamour paste over the gold with the result we had a bit of a not so nice finish there and then what do we do in South Africa we say pluck a bloom stick a flower flower wasn't going to work so we stuck the word wonderland over there and then you can see on the Cheshire Cat, I've also used the, the Glamour Gel. I don't suppose I needed to tell you that part of the story now, did I? Mm. I could have kept that a secret, but that's just between us, okay? And we've got some on Alice's hair and on the teapots. Oh, and what I forgot to do, which I'm still going to do, is put some glossy um, finish extra gloss finish into the teacups so that it looks like there's something inside that's what i forgot to do look at the cute little snail there man just so adorable the mad hatter oh this was a stunning stunning collection hats off to stamperia absolutely beautiful so whether you want your folio to open to the right or open to the left the tutorial is available on YouTube and on the Stamperia page. So I hope you enjoyed this process. I hope you enjoyed a, this page through my folio. So yeah, this can also be the, <laughs> the cover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And um, if you want more of this, let me know. Until next time, that's it from me. See you in cyberspace. Bye now.